What's up, guys? Hope you're having a good day so far. So I have spent 120 quid on darts and I've bought them off Red Dragon. Basically, what Red Dragon are currently doing on Amazon is you spend 40 quid, you get four sets of mystery darts and you don't know what you're going to get. You could get some good darts, could get some bad darts. Apparently, you can get brass darts, which is obviously bad. You can get tungsten darts. You can get player darts, ex-player darts or player darts of current, current players as well. Uh, these are all apparently discontinued darts that Red Dragon don't sell anymore and they're trying to get rid of old stock so apparently there are a few hidden gems that you can actually get uh but we're gonna have a look and see what i got so i bought 12 sets it cost me 120 quid by the way the link to that is in the description if you want to buy your own ones but i'm gonna kind of like give you guys an idea of whether it's worth it or not now we had eight sets of darts that arrived in uh, like dart wallet things and we had four of the sets of darts arrived in this like darts packet thing so we're gonna get them open we're gonna see if they're worth it i'm gonna try and estimate a value on what i think i could sell the darts at to see if it's even worth doing if it is it is it is it profitable uh is it is it worth doing at all uh we're gonna find out today uh yeah anyway guys if you do enjoy this video slap a like on it and subscribe if you're brand new and anyway let's get into this so we're gonna stick a value counter up here if this says 120 or more at the end of the video then it's worth it if it says lower then it's it's definitely not so let's have a look and see what we have got we'll start off with we'll start off with the, the packet because we didn't get any cases in this i'm not going to factor in the, the the value of the cases and the flights and the stems we're just going to go on the darts so let's get the packet open and let's see what our first set of darts are and i will show you guys as soon as i see them so uh yeah first set of darts all oh, these actually look quite nice so these uh these look decent they don't look terrible i, I was i don't know what i'm expecting to be honest so these have the words um sky pro written on them which i believe sky pro is some sort of some sort of like range that they brought out it's a it's a ring grip at the bottom it's like a stiletto -y type type shape the ring grip at the bottom and at the top we've got like some razor grip but smooth in the middle smooth at the front and smooth at the back um not bad actually i think these are probably worth more than a tenner i'm going to say these are maybe maybe like 14 or 15 pounds we're gonna go 15 quid on those i think i could sell them 15 quid next up we have got these these are i don't know what any of the darts are called unless they've got written on, written on them i've got no idea um but these okay um slightly slightly thicker slightly heavier dart 24 25 grams probably i'm gonna go for bit of a basic grip it's got like the red and the red and the blue on them they're kind of like a little bit little bit of a barney shape to be honest to them they've got a little bit of a barney barney of like is that phase ones or whatever they were that that sort of shape but obviously two two lots of ring grip red and blue uh red and blue on them and yeah i don't know i want to say i'm going to say another one that i can probably sell for more than tenner i want to say like 11 12 quid we'll go with 12 pounds we're up at the moment we're doing all right next next set we have got ah oh i've seen these so i remember these are kind of like these are a dart that you'd always see in the red dragon catalogs anyone else if you let me know in the comment section below did you ever used to get the red dragon catalog when you were a kid or younger and uh just flick through them these are definitely a set that i i definitely definitely recognize um not bad no grip on them they actually you know what they're, they're not too bad they're not too bad no grip on them ring grip as well like they're they're a straight barrel they're a grippy dart they're tungsten it's all it's all positives um probably not mm, 20 21 grams i'm gonna say so i'm gonna i reckon i can sell them for 12 quid we're gonna go we're gonna go 12 quid on those and the last one from inside the uh, the packaging is a big big boy set of darts okay uh, not a lot going on with them heavy heavy 34 35 grams heavy darts um yeah these these aren't these aren't a great dart ring grip here nothing up here thick thick boy darts i want to say eight pounds eight quid maybe someone who wants a set of 34 four 35 gram darts they might they might spend eight quid on those so that's a bit of a dud that one but the other three not bad so let's get onto the cases i'm just gonna pick them up randomly and try and show you what they are when i when i reveal them so the first one is going to be fucking are they the brass darts these are the brass darts that's a that's an l they do say budweiser on them i'm gonna assume that these are well they must be budweiser branded darts um I don't think they have any real value. I uh, maybe a fiver, maybe a fiver. That's a that's an L. That's an L. I hope we don't get any more brass starts because that is a big L. Uh, anyway, next one, next one. We have got. Oh, they're really dark. We've got a set of. I don't know what these are. So they're kind of like mm, are they tungsten. I assume they are. They're quite thin. 
yeah, they're, they're not they're not bad. Not bad. I don't think they're going to be worth much. So, black coated darts. Um, green ring grip up here. A bit of like a deeper ring, like a reverse. Maybe like a reverse um, like shark grip or razor grip or whatever the hell it's called at the top here. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. What do I think they're going to be worth though? A tenner. I, th I don't think people are going to pay more than a tenner for those. Not not the best darts in the world, but it's at least it's not at least it's not an L. Okay, next set of darts we have got. Oh, oh, they look thick. They're some thick boys. Uh, no branding on them. Straight barrel ring grip darts, but they are probably thirty, maybe thirty fours again. Um, they're quite heavy, quite heavy dart. No, I don't. I, I think the problem with these are is they're too heavy. They're too heavy. Maybe a tenner. Maybe I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eight quid though. We go eight quid on those, so that's an L. Uh, next set we have got are... are they the same ones again? They're the same darts again. We have got them crappy Budweiser brass darts again. There you go. If anyone wanted to see them, see them. Um, they they're five quid. Rubbish. Rubbish. Next darts. We've got two sets out of 12. We've got two sets of brass so far. I hope we don't get any more. Next up, we have got... Oh... Okay. Mm. Heavy ones again. 28, 28, 28 grams, I reckon. They feel quite heavy. No grip. I'm going to have to put these back in here. No grip on the bottom bit. Not a lot going up at the top. They kind of remind me of the of the other other darts that we got earlier, which were the, the big thick ones. I can't even find them now. Here they are. They kind of remind me of similar similar shape to these, but just with a no grip. They're very similar, aren't they? A bit smaller though. So I reckon these are like 20, 28 grams. Yeah, I don't know. Eight to ten pounds. I'm gonna say eight pounds. I don't think I don't think I'll get my money back on those. Next up, we have got. We got the same darts again. Same, we have we got the same one, same ones again. Eight quid, same darts again. Two lots of the same dart. That's the, 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 that's a bit of an L. It's a bit of an L. Two sets left. Two sets left. Please, please tell me one of these are, are decent. I mean, we're we're going to go for these. We're going to go for these ones first. So we have got. Oh, okay, okay. They're not bad. They're not bad. They feel like they feel like they're quite a high. A high tungsten percentage as well. They feel like they're a lot of the darts. have felt felt like they're about eighty percent. These ones feel like they're, they might be ninety. They've got Red Dragon written on them, um, and they're a straight barrel, nice grip. Not a bad, not a bad looking dart. Probably 21, 22 grams. That's not bad. I reckon I could get fifteen quid for those. I reckon someone paid fifteen quid for those. And the last set of darts for the video, we have got another blue blue theme going on. Now that they're similar, aren't they? They're very similar to the ones that we picked up earlier. I reckon they're from the same range. These are... What oh, wait. I'm going to say 30... I'm going to say 30 grams. Probably about 30 grams. They've got like a scallop in the middle of them with a with a ring grip in the white. And then there's two lots of... Two lots of knurl on the on the other sides. Not a great dart. I want to I want to say the same as them other blue ones and say eight quid. So I don't know exactly how much. I reckon we're just under. I would assume we're just under, but it'll say on the screen somewhere. I'll work it out in post. I reckon we're just under. We got no player darts. We have got two sets of brass darts, which are duds. Like I'd be I'd even be con I said a fiver, but I'd be considered. I'd, I'd honestly consider saying zero for those because who no one wants those. But guys. Yeah, if you want to try it out for yourself, if you want to test it, if you want to see if you can get some better stuff than I did, link in the description. You can definitely get decent darts. Like, there's a few sets there I, I think I could probably get 15 quid for. So you, you could potentially make 20 quid on them on all four sets. So when you buy four sets, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, if you do want to go and check them out, link in the description. Go have a look. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy it. Um, we took a few L's there. It wasn't too great. If anyone does want to see a part two where I take all the darts and put them on eBay for like 99p and see what they do in like a week's time, let me know in the comments because I would I would consider doing it if you guys wanted to see it. But I didn't want, didn't want to, wouldn't want to waste your time with, with with a rubbish video if you're not interested. Just see how much they actually did make. But yeah, if I missed anything because I don't know I don't know my old style red dragon darts like as well as some other people if i if there was any hidden gems in there let me know in the comment section below because it could that could make a difference on it onto, onto the value but yeah anyway guys thanks for watching the video do hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye